Comedy Magic of Peter Gross! was good. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peter Gross. I know a lot of you saw the compass. It said Peter Gross, magic and comedy. You had questions. <laughs> now you come to the show, you see me in the flesh, you still have questions. <laughs> I will say out loud what a lot of you are thinking, what is with the suit, right? <laughs> Let me explain. Let me explain. I was trying to go for disco magic guy. But I think I found flamboyant used car salesman. Is that all right? <laughs> I looked at it myself. It wasn't right. Anyway, by the way, if you've never seen one, or if you haven't seen one in 30 years, this is an actual polyester suit, <laughs> and they are amazing, ladies. If you have a husband or a boyfriend and you travel a lot, get them one, because I pack and unpack this baby every week. And what can I say, people? It always looks this good. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's right. And they are great. You never have to worry about dry cleaning. Always dangerous to send something out to a dry cleaner if you don't know the dry cleaner. I never have to worry about cleaning this. I just carry a buffing rag and armor all. Really? The shine comes right back. It's fabulous. Very difficult to find polyester these days. I live in Boston. I normally have to drive all the way down to New Jersey to find these suits. And it is getting harder and harder. Now you have to do research. What you have to do is you have to buy the paper every day and wait for them to knock off a Goomba, and then you go down to the Salvation Army, pick them up, they're still on the rack, so that's nice. Oh, and the show, let me explain about the show. It says comedy and magic, and it's kind of a weird uh, combination. It's, I think it's the, the best combination, but it is kind of unusual. Uh, basically, I do comedy and magic, and uh, the way I bring them together is this, just so you're not confused. Anything that I say during the show that is not that funny is part of the magic, all right? <laughs> So there are no dead spots in my show. So anyway, I know there's probably somebody who came out tonight hoping to see one of those magic shows like they see in Vegas. It's not really my thing, but somebody's here to see that, and I don't want anybody to go home disappointed. So ladies and gentlemen, to begin the show, some serious, traditional magic. Watch. 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 Show. Good, all right. My people at the 9 o'clock show. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, sorry, it's the lock. Sorry, sorry. All right. That's not what I do. Uh, 
and I'll tell you why. It's, it's, I can, I have. But here's the thing, when I was a kid, that was the kind of magic show I wanted to have. And when I was a young man, my father used to take me to all the magic shows that came into town. And I'd always demand that we sit right up front, or all the way in the side, or in the balcony. And what I found out is, if you sit in a bad seat at a magic show, you see how stuff is done. And that is terrible. I mean, how disappointing is that? That you can sit in the wrong seat and see the magic. That's terrible. So I promised myself if I was going to do a show, it would be so good, it would be so perfect, that I could have someone stand practically right next to me on stage, and the magic would look just as good as if they were in the audience. And that is the show that I do, which means I can't really start the show until I bring somebody on stage. That's right. Oh, I don't like kids. So what I'm looking for is this. I have a... Uh, it's nothing personal. I don't know you. That's the good news. It's not really. It's just in general. So anyway, um, I have something very specific in mind. I'm looking for a young lady, intelligent, beautiful, with her own car and her own money, all right? Either to Tampa, Cocoa Beach, is okay? More deal. All right, I'm going to have to come out and meet somebody. I feel like I can't see with the lights. You know what? I'm going to need a little bit of theme music, please. Everybody, this is Risa. <sighs> Thanks. Do me a favor, Risa, do me a favor. Come sit right here. Lovely. Knees together like Mom taught you. Good. All right, now. Ladies and gentlemen, people often ask me what the most difficult part of my show is, and I always tell them the truth, because it's the hardest thing. Picking volunteers is the most difficult part of a show, because everything else you rehearse. But it, it, as Risa can tell you, when you're on stage, you can actually see people. It's very difficult. The lights are in your eyes. Yeah, you really can't. So I only give myself about 10 seconds. I wander up the aisle, and I look for somebody appropriate. And I can always tell who I'm going to pick, based on one factor, and one factor only. A young lady smile. Yeah, it was a different one. But here's the point. It was a more natural, not so forced. Anyway, so now that I see Risa, and you look lovely tonight. You do, did you have a different dress for formal night? You had a different one? It's my dress! It's my dress! It's your It's your daughter's Oh, okay, all right. But I have to say, I saw a lot of people last night, and I think you all looked so amazing during formal night. Really, you did, really. You looked great. All the women looked like princesses. All the guys looked like they were going to court. It was really, it was a magical night. And, uh... I saw one guy, he took a photograph, and he turned to the side for another one, you know. <laughs> That's in history, I guess. So, Risa, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have some fun together, and because you're first on stage, you're going to get your choice. But I have to admit, Risa, you are really, you look stunning tonight. And I realize now, after I, now that I see the whole thing from top to bottom, I need a minute to prepare myself for, you know, our meeting. So you stay here, and I'll go over there and get ready, okay? And just relax, okay? This will just take a minute. Toilet paper, all right? Let's see where you're going with that. All right, 
Very simple. Honestly, it's up to you. Which one would you like to do tonight? The show turns on your decision. Which one do you want to do? The Box of Mystery, everybody! Excellent choice! Let's see what's in the box tonight. <laughs> Toilet paper! <laughs> this way, everybody gets what they want. All right. Risa, do me a favor. Take your two hands, stick them out like this. Now take those hands and turn them into two guns. Now take those guns and point them towards each other. Excellent! Thank you. All right. Oh wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Other way, that's right. All right. All right. True. I love that moment because all the husbands applaud, the wives applaud. Single guy's just confused. <laughs> Single guy's like, I didn't even know what the holes were for. That's amazing. You can hang that crap up. All right, here we go. Now, all right. Uh, so now, beautiful woman, David. Here we go. Reese, we're going to play a game together. The game is where does the ball go? Basically, what's going to happen is this. I make a little ball of a tissue paper, like this. Then I put the ball in one of my two hands. We either can put it over here. We can call it the far hand. Or I put it over here, we call that the close hand. So all I do is I put it in my hand, you tell me where it is. When you get it right, you get a huge hand from the audience, like this. Now, Reese, if you get it wrong, they're not going to boo, they're not going to help you, that's pity. They're just going to let you guess again, all right? Okay, Reese, we'll do a nice, easy one. Close or far? Far. Okay, that was supposed to be the easy one, all right? Let me slow it down for you, Reese. Because she's confused. Here we go. Watch the ball in the hand. Say far this time. Far. Give her a nice hand. Take a guess. Take a guess. Close. Can you take one more guess? Far. I'm just kidding. It's on your chest. Look at that. Let's do it right there. Because you want to focus. You got to focus. Are you going to focus? Because I'm, I'm not going to do this over and over again. Like, here we go. I put the balls together. I put the hands together. I blow on it. You blow on it. It disappears. No, no, that'd be cool, though. Wouldn't that be cool? It goes to the pocket. You didn't see it go to the pocket, did you? You didn't know. You didn't see it go. Oh, man, let me make it bigger now. Yeah, you're ready for it a little bigger. She did not see it go. That's the cool thing. And you're so close. You should see everything you'd think, right? Is it there? Yeah. Good. Are right, you waiting together? So if I put it in my hand like this, you blow on it, it disappears. Just, no, oh, I didn't do anything yet. Sorry. I'm sorry. We'll do it again. Nice and slow. Here you go. Blow on it. I'll put it in my hand. I blow on you one more time. You see the face? You see this? I, I know. It's all right. You're so close. It makes it harder. Now, Lisa, I love the face. It's so beautiful. Here we go. I'm gonna. I feel bad for you because because you lost two in a row. Let me get a nice big one. We'll make it a little bit easier for you, Lisa. Let me get a little more. Okay, here we go. Lisa, the ball is much bigger. All right. Maybe maybe even a little too big. One second. Oh, they switched the two ply at me, didn't they? All right. Here we go. One second. All right. That's a big ball. By the way, close or far? Close, good, all right, yeah, because that's idiotic otherwise. Here we go, blow on the ball. Oh, I dropped it, one second. Are you watching now? Because I want you to get it. Here we go, blow on the ball. Now watch. This is your last kiss. Put them on, honey, all right? Seriously. She turned it around again. That's amazing. All right. What about that? Oh, all right. All right. Here we go. Blow. Is it there? Yes. Would you bet twenty dollars? No. No, you want it's there. Here we go. Blow. Stand up, stand up. Very slowly. Put behind you. Put behind you. Over your shoulder. Right? 